How's it going everyone? JakeXVX here, back on Forza Horizon 4 once again. This is another informational video for you all. I did one of these last month, I believe, on the new painting options update, and it did very good. I just sat here and spoke about the new upcoming update, what features are going to come, what cars, and it did really well. These type of videos save you all from having to read up and look at other videos of what's actually coming, because everything you need to know is going to be in this video. And it's going to be regarding the new Fortune Island update we are getting one week from today on the 13th of December. It's quite a lot of people who aren't looking forward to the new Fortune Island update. However, I'll urge you all to watch this video because there's probably a lot that's coming that you don't know of which you'll actually like. So if you don't already know, we are getting a brand new expansion called the Fortune Island, which is a massive island, the biggest expansion they've ever done which is going to be full of rocky mountains, insane twisty turny drift roads and insane terrain. I'm going to have pictures and videos on screen of what I'm talking about so you can get a bit of concept and idea into your head of what I'm on about. So this is what's coming in the new Fortune Island expansion pack update. The Fortune Island update is going to be a brand new map. Now don't think of this as just an extra area, think of this of an entire new map. It's not going to be as big but it's going to have Everything that you can see on screen right now, it's going to have drift zones, speed zones, speed traps, road racing series races, danger signs, which means that because of this new expansion coming out, we are going to be able to level up our speed zones, our speed traps, our danger signs, and our explorer levels as well. So everyone who's been stuck at the highest level on these four right here, we're finally going to be able to level these up even more and finally get this super wheel spin from level 19. So try to think in detail, we're actually getting a lot more than just an extra map. Now on this map, as we're going to have races, we're also going to get some Goliath tracks as well. The new Fortune Island update, the island will come with two Goliath races apparently. One of which is just a Goliath race around the whole map, and another one which is focused more on just the pure roads. So if you're into just road racing and a bit of drifting, the second Goliath race will be more to you. But the more important and cool thing is this Fortune Island is going to have two Goliath races. Now speaking of little features, the drift zones. Apparently this new Fortune Island is going to have a drift zone on it, which is the longest drift zone they have ever made. So if you're into your drifting and you're into your drift zones, somewhere on the Fortune Island there is going to be a huge drift zone. No one knows the size of it yet, no one knows what it's like yet, but all we know there's going to be quite a meaty drift zone on there to have a blast at. Again, on the topic of drift zones and stuff like that, we are actually getting a new type of challenge. By challenge, I mean like a speed trap or a speed zone. We're getting a new thing called Trailblazer. The Trailblazers, which will be scattered around Fortune Island, will have a point A and a point B, and the challenge... Sorry about the dog barking in the background. The challenge is to get from point A to point B as fast as possible. So unlike a speed zone where you have to follow the track and do it as fast as possible, this trailblazer you have to get from A to B as fast as possible but taking any route you like. There'll be no limits to where you go as long as you get from A to B, you're good. Anyone who's familiar with Call of Duty and Call of Duty Zombies Easter Eggs where you have to figure out the clues, solve some little riddles and get prizes and stuff, that's coming to Fortune Island, we're going to have something called treasure hunting. We're not, quite, we're not quite sure how it works yet, but there's going to be little riddles and challenges scattered around the map which we have to solve and complete to find the treasure. And the treasure could be anything from cars to credits to loot, anything. But it's a similar concept to Call of Duty Zombies Easter Eggs where you've got little riddles to do around the map to get things sorted. So that's going to be pretty cool as well. Now I think those are most of the known features coming to Fortune Island, however, we're getting a load of cars as well, and this is what they are. Along with the Fortune Island update, as many people know already, we're getting the Lamborghini Urus, the brand new 2019 version, which I saw one in real life a few days ago. They are beastly. I'll have pictures on screen of the cars that I'm talking about right now. So we're going to get the Lamborghini Urus with a new update. Another car we're getting, we're getting the brand new 2018 BMW M5, which for any Beamer fans out there is pretty nice. And then we're getting some other interesting ones like the Funko Motorsport F9, the Exomotive Exo Exocet Off-Road. I'm not sure if that's how you say it, but here's a picture of that on screen, which looks pretty weird. We're getting the Ram 1500 Rebel TRX concept, which is, seems like a right beast. I'm looking forward to playing around in that. And some of the more interesting cars, we're getting the Hoonigan Ford Fiesta ST RX43 Hoonigan 8, or Gymkhana 8, sorry. 
we're getting the Celine S5S Raptor, which is a nice supercar. Now, another really good one, the Lamborghini Aventador J, which is a convertible. Now, this thing looks so cool. I didn't even know this was a thing, to be quite honest with you. I never heard of the Aventador J. Heard of the Aventador S and everything, obviously, but that is going to be quite a strange car to ride on Fortune Island, but we're getting it either way. And my favourite one of them all, we're getting a Koenigsegg CC8S, which is one of my favourite cars. I love all Koenigseggs, especially the old ones, so we are getting one of these Koenigseggs with the Fortune Island update. I'm looking forward to that. And then another one we're getting is also the Morris Minor Series 2 Traveller, which looks mental. So with this update, we're not just getting an island. We're getting loads of new challenges, loads of new cars, loads of new stories, speed zones, speed traps, tail traces, drift zones, danger signs, all sorts. We're getting more Goliath races, more treasure hunting, we're getting bigger drift zones. We're getting the ability to level up our explorer level as well. So this Fortune Island is definitely going to be a blast. Something several, of, some, something some of us have been wondering for a while now is the seasons on Fortune Island. What's it going to be like? Are they going to be? Is it going to be a solid season, or is it going to be the same as our open world Australia? Not Australia, UK. Well, we have the answer to that. Fortune Island is going to have the exact same seasons as the UK. So we're in winter at the moment. If it's winter here, it's winter on Fortune Island. If it's summer here, it's summer on Fortune Island. So that's something that people have been asking and there's your answer. I'm highly looking forward to this Fortune Island. I'll say again, it releases on the 13th of December, which is seven days from now, or six, sorry, actually. For anyone interested, I will be live streaming this brand new update as soon as it is out on the same day, which is the Thursday. So keep an eye out on my YouTube guys because we'll be live streaming Fortune Island on the day it's out. It's going to be a blast. But I believe, I, believe that's all the inf I believe that's all the information we know about the Fortune Island, at least the most exciting stuff anyway. So I hope this video has got you up to date on our brand new information about the Fortune Island. I don't believe we're going to have any more um, details revealed until the actual release now. So this is what we'll have to go into Fortune Island knowing. It's going to be pretty cool. <sighs> Let me know in the comment section what your favourite car is that you're looking forward to out of the cars we're getting in this new update. And let me know what feature you're looking forward to the most, because there's quite a few interesting ones. Trailblazer is going to be cool, Treasure Hunting as well. It's going to be a blast. But anyway, ladies, please leave a like if you've enjoyed. Let me know if I've missed anything crucial. I don't believe I have. If you've been having to ready for more Forza Horizon 4 content, and I'll see you all... Ah, oh, I've crashed. In the next video.